From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Friday, August 19th, 2022. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. According to the Associated School Boards of South Dakota, the entire state has 202 teacher positions open. This is up 116 positions compared to last year, with some of the bigger districts like Sioux Falls and Rapid City having a harder time finding teachers. Nicole Swigert, the assistant superintendent for Rapid City Area Schools, says the RCAS is currently looking at an increased number of teacher openings from last year, with a bulk being elementary educators. Not only is there a high demand for teachers in the state, paraprofessional Professional positions are also tough to fill. Districts like the RCAS are noticing more empty positions and not enough applicants. This year, they're seeing close to 60 openings for paraprofessionals alone. Meanwhile, in Rapid City, the school board heard reasons why a Lakota immersion program may have to end. Amy Rose has the details. Rapid City School Board members heard concerns at a Tuesday meeting about whether the district can sustain an existing Lakota immersion program. The board took no official vote. However, a lack of qualified teaching candidates for open positions appears to mean an end to the program for now. The program is taught in the Lakota language with an emphasis on Lakota culture, heritage, and values. While the district says they were falling flat on the recruitment process for the program, some parents involved with the program disagree. Val Big Eagle is the chair of a local parent advisory committee. She says there were qualified candidates that applied and, for whatever reason, they're unable to get on. Some, but not all, school board members offered a commitment to keep working toward a solution. This week, veterans from 36 states gathered in Rapid City for the Military Order of the Purple Hearts National Convention. The event included recipients of the Purple Heart Award, which is given to U.S. veterans who were injured or killed due to enemy actions. Connie Johnson served in the U.S. Army during the Iraq War. She received the medal after being injured during her service. Now she commands the Dakota Department for the Military Order of Purple Hearts. Johnson says the groups help connect veterans with other Purple Heart recipients. In national and international news, President Joe Biden's administration is readying about $800 million of additional military aid to Ukraine and could announce it as soon as today. According to sources, Biden would authorize the assistance using his presidential drawdown authority, which allows the president to authorize the transfer of excess weapons from U.S. stocks. The sources, speaking on the condition of anonymity, said that an announcement could slip into next week, cautioning that weapons packages can change in value before they are announced. Meanwhile, high-end talks in Ukraine have led to little progress. Amy Rose has more. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has met the UN chief and Turkey's leader in Ukraine. Little progress was reported on expanding Ukraine's grain exports, the volatile situation at a Russian-occupied nuclear power plant, and efforts to help end the war. The leaders also discussed exchanges of prisoners of war and a proposed UN fact-finding mission to a prison in Russian-occupied Ukraine, where 53 POWs were killed last month. Apple has disclosed serious security vulnerabilities for iPhones, iPads, and Macs. The software flaws could potentially allow attackers to take complete control of these devices. The company said in a security statement that it is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. Security experts have advised users to update affected devices. The iPhone 6S and later models, newer iPads and Mac computers running on Mac OS Monterey. It also affects some iPod models. Commercial spyware companies are known for using such flaws in products designed to introduce malware and siphon data from targeted phones and other devices. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Beautiful day for the start of the Central States Fair with sunshine in 82 for the high. Low tonight, 55. Saturday, expect highs in the mid-80s. Sunday, highs in the mid-90s. And that was your Daily Slice for Friday, August 19th, 2022. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose, executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.